This is just a quick video to show you how you can use cast diagrams to solve trig equations. In fact, it's not even a cast diagram, it's just a, a cross. It's just an X and Y axis. And this is what you do. You start by drawing an X and Y axis. If you're solving a trig equation for cos, then you find the first solution angle on your calculator. And then you, what you do, you reflect that line in the X axis. Obviously, it means that these angles here are going to be the same angle. So you've got X and Y axis. If you're solving a trig equation for sine, you find your first solution on the calculator. So something like this. But what you do is you reflect that line in the Y axis. So we've got X and Y axis here. So that means that these two angles are the same. And if you're drawing uh, or solving a, a trig equation for tan, you find your first solution on the calculator. And then once you've found your first solution on the calculator, what you do is you make it a straight line. So obviously these two angles are going to be the same and there's my X and Y axis. Now, if you're struggling to remember which one goes with which, C become, comes before S in the alphabet, X comes before Y in the alphabet. So C goes with X, S goes with Y and tan. Well, if you want to tan, what do you do? You lie down and you probably lie down straight in a straight line. So that may help you remember cos goes with X axis, sine goes with Y axis, tan uh, draw a straight line. So here's an example for sine. We want to solve this equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is to divide both sides by five. Then I'll do the sine inverse of both sides. So that'll be X is equal to the sine inverse of negative two over five or negative 0.4. If I do that on my calculator, I will get X equal to negative 23.578, like that, and it carries on. Then I draw that angle on my simplified cast diagram on this cross. So that's going to be an angle round about here. So that's going to be negative 23.578, and so on. And because I'm solving a, a trig equation for sine, sine is where I reflect this line in the Y axis. So my other solution is going to be here. That means that this angle here is also 23.57. So my other solution is going to be 180 plus 23.578. Now, the last thing I just need to note that I need to give an angle between 0 and 360. So I need to change this negative angle into a positive one. And the way that I can find that is by doing 360 minus 23.578. So now I'm ready to give my answers to uh, let's say one decimal place. So my solutions are going to be X equals 203.6 and also 336.4. So found my first solution, plotted that on the diagram, reflected it in the Y axis to get the other solution and just turned this into a positive angle because it needs to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So here I want to solve this trig equation here. So I've drawn my X and Y axis. So the first thing that I do to solve this is I'm going to do the cos inverse of both sides. So I'll get X equals the cos inverse of root three over two. That gives me exactly 30 degrees. So now what I do is I draw 30 degrees on my cast diagram. So that's 30 degrees here. And because it's cos, I reflect that in the X axis. So that means this is also 30 degrees. So the other solution I'm going to have is going to be 360 minus 30 degrees so i'll get my final solutions as 30 degrees and 330 degrees and the last example here um, we want to solve this equation here so the first thing we're going to do is to divide both sides by cos and that will give me sine theta divided by cos theta is equal to root three. Then I know that sine divided by cos is tan. So this becomes tan theta equals root three. So now I'll grab my calculator and do the tan inverse of uh, root three to work out what theta is. That gives me exact value of 60 degrees. So on my diagram, my cross, I draw 60 degrees, my principal first solution right 60 degrees like this and for tan remember what we do is you draw a straight line using our rule for where two straight lines cross that means that this angle here is also 60 degrees and that angle is going to be 180 plus 60 degrees so then i can write down my two solutions as theta equal to 60 and theta equal to 240 degrees 
So just remember, if it's this very quick method, we draw an x and a y axis. If we're solving an equation for cos, whatever angle you get from your calculator, you reflect that angle in the x axis. If you're solving an equation for sine, you draw your first angle from your calculator, then you reflect that angle in the y axis. And if you're solving an equation for tan, you find the first uh, solution from your calculator and then just continue a straight line. Cos comes before sine in the alphabet, C comes before S, X comes before Y, and if you want to tan, you lay down straight.